So while we're talking about complement and how complement functions to help remove pathogens from the body, the effector functions, uh, now's a good time to introduce one of the effector functions and how it, how it works. Uh, and the effector function we're going to talk about here is opsonization or how uh, complement activation leading to complement fixation can help improve phagocytosis. So that is the process of opsonization, one of the effector functions of complement. So if you recall, in a previous video, we talked about and introduced complement fixation, specifically when the C3 protein is cleaved to C3A and C3B by C3 convertases, right? And we've introduced soluble C3 convertase and um, alternative C3 convertase so far in a previous video. Uh, and that cleaves C3 and the C3 and C3B. C3B, very active, can uh, uh, covalently attach to the surface of pathogens, viruses, bacteria. Okay, well, how's that going to help? So let's introduce uh, our favorite phagocyte, the macrophage, large eater. Now, how do macrophages know what to phagocytose? Well, macrophages have receptors on their surface, and we'll talk in a later video about the plethora of receptors found on the surface of macrophages that can recognize molecules on the surface of pathogens. But what I want to introduce in this video, because it follows our video on complement activation, is that when complement is fixed to the surface of a pathogen, or anything really, C3B is attached to something, um, there is a receptor on the surface of a macrophage, and actually some other receptors, but let's introduce this right now with, with, mac with phagocytes, with macrophages specifically. Uh, we're going to introduce a complement receptor. So drawn here in purple, it is found on the surface of a uh, macrophage. And what I'm showing here is that how a complement receptor will bind to complement that is fixed on the surface of a pathogen. And in this instance here, I've drawn the complement receptor CR1, complement receptor 1, and receptors bind ligands. The ligand for CR1 is C3B. And where is C3B found? fixed on the surface of pathogens. Now, when CR1 binds C3B, that's going to trigger phagocytosis, right? This process by which a vesicle envelops the uh, substance that brings it into the cell, into the vesicular system. So it's a type of endocytosis. And macrophages are phagocytes. They bring these um, uh, vesicles into their membrane. We'll go into later videos on detail on how macrophages work. But um, suffice it to say that when these pathogens are brought in to the vesicular system of macrophages, they are destroyed. So the idea that complement fixation can trigger um, uh, phagocytosis much more efficiently than if the pathogen didn't have any complement fixed to its surface that is the concept of opsonization, affixing something to the surface of a pathogen that makes it more attractive uh, to phagocytes like macrophages. So they, those complement receptors, CR1, they have very nice high affinity for C3Bs, and they will envelop the pathogen and destroy it. So in later videos, we'll introduce other complement receptors like CR3 and CR4, that, and their ligands are complement, but we'll see different versions of complement. So again, fixing complement to the surface of a pathogen will trigger the uh, phagocytosis of that pathogen. That is called opsonization. That is one effector mechanism by which complement activation can lead to the destruction of pathogens. We will introduce in this video, uh, maybe I should get out of the way here, um, the idea that you can cover pathogens in other things that make them more attractive to phagocytes such as macrophages. And here I've drawn a pathogen covered in antibodies. In later videos, when we talk about humoral immunity and how B cells can produce antibodies that bind molecules with a very high affinity on the surface of a pathogen, when those uh, antibodies bind to a pathogen, well, we'll talk about antibody effector functions in later videos, but 
uh, antibodies covering a pathogen, one way those antibodies work to get rid of the pathogen, if the antibody effector function, is opsonization because macrophages uh, are cells that have um, other types of receptors. Here we're going to call them FC receptors. FC receptors bind antibodies. And when that happens, that uh, macrophage will envelop that, um, fig that uh, pathogen, take it into its vesicular system, and destroy it. So again, covering a uh, pathogen with antibodies, covering a pathogen in C3Bs, complement fixation, both of those are examples of opsonization. The, antibody, um, the antibodies we'll talk about in a later video. Right now, we're focusing on complement. So that is uh, one effector mechanism of complement activation, opsonization.